really um, very scared to say this number out loud. Yes, I said it, I'm putting it out there. to my channel if you've never seen my face before hi my name is Olichi this is a lifestyle beauty and everything nice channel okay so if you're not already subscribed join my family we are growing and we are glowing all 2020 I know I have a makeup stain on my shirt so just ignore it so today's video is going to be me telling you guys a little bit about my 2020 goals. I'm going to do a mini, like ever so mini reflection of my 2019 goals um, and then just kind of filling you guys in about what I want to happen for myself, my channel and different other aspects of my life this year. I'm practicing this thing where I'm putting it out um, to the universe and to God and speaking it. So I'm just going to speak it into existence and also just so that you guys can keep me accountable. Is that something you guys can do? Comment down below if you are going to be keeping me accountable all 2020. I need you guys to spam my comments and my other social media if I'm not keeping to any of these things that I said I'm going to be doing this year. So let us get right in. So I wrote it all down. Um, first off, let's just kind of talk about 2019, okay? 2019 was a growth year for me, guys. Um, a lot of growth happened for me this year or last year. A lot of mental um, battles as well. I There's a lot of things that I didn't necessarily accomplish that I wanted to. There's a lot of things that just didn't happen quite the way that I probably wanted them to happen. I think out of all the goals that I wrote down, I probably accomplished like three or four and I did have quite a lot. One major thing that I did accomplish last year was traveling a lot, which I traveled a lot and I was happy about, but I also traveled a lot and just did a lot of spending that I also increased the debt that I had. Um, I started off the year paying off all my debt and then somehow I like doubled the debt again by the end of the year so that's something that is going to be moving into 2020 and i'm not say happy about ha that happening in 2019 but it's a learning experience it's a learning cu curve and i mean i'm so grateful that i'm here okay so my major theme for this year is 2020 vision as cliche as that sounds y'all like it really is just 2020 vision like i want to just hone in and just focus like the word focus is going to be like major for me this year i'm going to try to always come back to that word because i really need to put my bum bum down and focus make it happen is another thing that i'm going to be saying to myself a lot this year um say less do more that's another one that i'm also going to be holding myself accountable to and i'm going to put god first and then have these goals at the back of my mind to hopefully be able to achieve all of them uh, if not more um, because I know God's plan is always the best plan and I just want his will to be done in my life a period the first thing is I want to put God first I want him to rule over my life I want my relationship to God with God to come first and everything every day all day every time period okay um i'm also trying to read my bible every day as well i want to pray and fellowship with god every day or at least just once a day it could be multiple times this was something that last year that i fell back on 2018 2017 my spiritual life was a lot stronger um in 2019 i was really just trying to take the reins from god and it just wasn't working um i really wasn't like praying as i should have i wasn't reading my bible i was just kind of like having this on off relationship with god just calling on him when i really needed help but um, yeah, we're not doing that this year. And all in all, I just want to develop a stronger relationship with God. This is a huge one now. Like I said, I did incur some debt like last year and my major focus is gonna be paying off all my debt. I want to be debt free by the end of this year. I don't want any debt on my head. It sounds like death, debt, debt, I don't know, debt. I think it's debt you say, right? D-E-B-T. Well, anyways, I don't want any of that. I want to be a six-figure, comfortable six-figure earner and that being it with like all the like, plat like platforms I'm going to set up for myself, be it business, be it YouTube, and my main financial source of income, which right now is my nursing job. I want to save at least $10,000. This may seem little to you guys or more to you guys, but I know as of last year, I wasn't saving a lot like I should have. Um, so that's I, this is like just like the starting point. 
I would love to make at least $50,000 this year on the side, aside from what I already make as a nurse. I definitely see myself moving forward in my career um, and I've been praying about it for a while so I'm hoping that I, I get like the clear responses that I need to move forward in my career be it whatever path that God wants me to take improve also in my nursing practice I want to learn a lot more I want to be more involved with my patient care um, and just want to be more applied and present um, I feel like last year I was kind of like floating almost like it felt like literally I was just like letting the days pass and go by and I really don't like that it really made me feel like I was existing and not living which is probably what it was but I want to be be more present in the moment and just take the opportunity to, to learn more I've been an ER nurse now for like a year and like three four months so I definitely want to know that by the two-year mark by August I, I am well improved in my practice I plan to end up going back to school this year I want to just make sure that by God's grace in my academics that I will score high marks, make be a straight A student like I've always been. I'm also looking at YouTube as a career now. I want to put more emphasis on building my YouTube, staying successful with my YouTube channel and holding myself accountable. I'm gonna start a blog this year. If um, It's gonna be oluchim.com. I know I'm speaking it, I'm letting you guys know because it has to come to fruition this year. It has to come to fruition this year. Eh? <laughs> fruition. I was pretty much working on it almost like all of last year and it never I never put it out so yeah this year is coming out for sure I want to grow my Instagram to 10,000 subscribers this one doesn't do Instagram um, I'm also putting this as a career because I want to be um, this year more of a social media personality as well as having like my on the side career with like my nursing i want to be more of an influencer and in like the essence of the word influencer i want to be a curation and spread positivity through all of my social media platforms so i'm working on being more like proactive and more inclusive and just more active on all these platforms i do want to start businesses this year um i want to start i want to like increase my source of income i definitely want to have at least two more sources of income aside from my main income right now as a nurse so that means like what i mean youtube maybe one and the other one could be a business or potentially even businesses i just want to be able to delve into the business world and have something for my own that i am nurturing I'm putting this out there and I know that it may look a lot, it may be crazy. I know God is on my side and whatever his plan is, that is all I care about. A hundred yeah! thousand subscribers, a hundred K. Yes, I said it, I'm putting it out there. Make that happen this year. I really, I really am um, very scared to say this number out loud, but I know that God works in mysterious ways and I know he's gonna do it. I also wanna post at least a hundred videos um, this year, a hundred new videos, pre like not even including what I had on before. I also wanna rebrand my channel. I spoke about this in a previous video, so I will link it up in the cards here and down in the description box below. And I would love to make at least $5,000 in AdSense revenue, just at least 5,000. Get more brand endorsement deals. Um, get featured in a poster magazine from my channel, and just be more consistent in general. Starting up the foundation um, for my dad who passed away from leukemia, I definitely want to start a foundation for him. I just want to be a better person, a better Christian, a better friend, a better daughter, a better just human being in general, and just being more generous, being more genuine, being more real. Um, read at least 12 books this year wake up early about 8 to 8 30 a.m because i wake up really late and just plan more effectively and just like you know run with it i really want to run with this year so yeah that is pretty much all of my goals for 2020 just kind of summarized i didn't want to bore you guys too much so i want you guys to tell me your goals um comment down below what you're expecting from this year 2020 and if you guys are excited to come on this journey with me i really appreciate you watching this video and i will see you in my next one Stay beautiful, choose you, and God bless.